not It's like really good. All right, class. It's time for our holiday photos. Everyone, come on up and put your letter to Santa in the bag. Once you do, go stand next to the Christmas tree. Thank you, Patrice. Your outfit looks so cute. Thank you. Thank you, Angelo. You look adorable. Thanks. <laughs> Maria, what are you wearing? Your outfit looks terrible. It's dirty and even has holes in it. I told you to wear something nice to the party. Sorry, Miss Jeffries. Clearly not sorry enough to care. <sighs> You're gonna ruin the holiday photo. You know what? Go stand in the back behind Angelo and Patrice so no one can see that outfit. Thank you, Jessica. You look great. Thank you, Adam. All right, before we begin, let's make sure we have everything. Adam, you brought cookies. Great. And Jessica, I see you brought the pizza. Perfect. Maria, you were supposed to bring chips. I don't see any chips. Well, I wasn't able to bring anything. What do you mean? We have been talking about this potluck for weeks. I know. What happened was... Uh, we all know what happened. You forgot. I am so disappointed in you. Now nobody at the party is going to be able to eat chips. I'm sorry, Miss Jeffries. Since you didn't contribute anything, you can be the last in line to eat. Patrice, you can go first. for me. Thank you. Wow, Angelo. What a great gift. Um, Patrice, you're number two. I'll choose this one. I don't understand. Where's the gift? Oh, um, there must be some mistake. Who brought this one? Maria, did you bring this? Yeah, no, it is a gift. I wrote it myself. That is not a gift. That is a worthless piece of paper. You were supposed to spend $20. I tried to. Tried? You didn't try at all. First you show up wearing that, you don't bring any food to the party, and now you don't bring a gift? This is unacceptable. I really wanted to, but you see? I don't want to hear it. Here, you keep this. I don't want anyone else to get stuck with it. Patrice, you choose another gift, honey. Hey, how'd it go? Uh, it went fine. Uh, well, there was this one student, Maria. She literally didn't bring anything to the party. It was like... She didn't even care. Oh, well, maybe something else is going on. I mean, you never know what someone else is going through. Anyway, I gotta go. See you tomorrow? Yeah, have a good night. Dear Santa, my name is Maria, and I don't usually ask for much, but I could really use your help. 
You see? My mom just lost her job a few months ago. And since Papa hasn't been around, we've been having a hard time paying our bills. We're barely getting by. Today I was supposed to wear a nice outfit for a holiday party. But all I have are my old clothes. Mom says we can't afford new ones. So if you could please bring me some new clothes without holes in them, I'd really appreciate that. I was also supposed to bring food for our potluck, but we barely have enough to eat at home. Mom says we don't have enough money to buy groceries. So if you could please bring us some extra food, that would be really nice. And one last thing, if not too much to ask, I'm supposed to bring a Christmas gift for someone in my class. But mom doesn't have any money. Even if I don't get any gifts, if you could please get one for them, that would mean so much to me. So you see, my mom and I are really struggling right now. I'm sorry to ask for a lot, but I really want to do everything Miss Jeffries asked me to do. She's an amazing teacher. <laughs> Thank you so much. Merry Christmas, Santa. <laughs> Love, Maria. I'm so sorry. Couldn't get any presents this year. It's okay. Hi, uh, is Maria home? I'm her teacher. Oh, yes. Miss Jeffries, what are you doing here? Well, I came to deliver some packages. It looks like these are from the North Pole. Really? Mm-hmm. Wow. Uh, here, take these. Come on, let's go open them. I've got more. <laughs> Please, come in. <laughs> okay. Here we go. May I? Of course, absolutely. <clears throat> Open them! Wow! New clothing! Just like I asked for! I love them! <laughs> wow! Lots of food! Now everyone in our class can eat chips! Oh. <laughs> This is all for you. For me? But I asked Santa to give a gift to someone in our class. Not me. It feels so bad. I ruined the whole party because I didn't bring anything. I'm so sorry. Oh, hey. Hey, no, you didn't ruin anything. In fact, I'm the one that's sorry. I never should have gotten mad at you at the party today. I realize now that you never know what someone else is going through. Do you think you could forgive me? Of course. <sighs> okay, but Santa told me personally that all of this is just for you, nobody else. Really? I'm so happy. All right, are we ready to get started with all the fun? Uh, um, this isn't the color I want. Do you have it? 
Oh, I apologize. I don't think we do. Are you serious? I know. I'm so sorry. It's just that rose gold is a popular color, so we ran out of it. We have a lot of other colors, though. What about magenta or purple? I mean, I guess I could do purple. That's the color I'm doing, Rochelle. It's gonna match the mani and pedi I'm getting. Well, choose a different color, Stacy. It's my birthday. Take your time. Just let me know when you're ready. Here's a list of all of our services. It's fine, I'll just go with something else. No, it's okay, do purple. Maybe I'll just go with red. That's what I'm doing. Or not. Go with purple. Looking at these prices, I've changed my mind. I don't think I'm gonna do color. No, it's okay. My mom gave me her credit card, so get whatever you want. But what color nails do you think I should go with? Right, have fun. Okay. Hi, Rochelle. Happy birthday. Oh, hi, Penelope. I didn't think you were coming. Are you kidding? My birthday's next week, so it's kind of a gift for me, too. Cool. I need some hand sanitizer. BRB. Um. Why is Penelope Eastman here? My mom made me invite her. Her dad's my mom's assistant and planned the whole thing, so she felt bad excluding her. That's nice of your mom. No, it's not. It's annoying. Seriously. Here she comes. So, what are you doing today? We're getting our hair dyed and getting many petties. Really? I always wanted to do those things, especially getting my hair dyed. I always wanted to be real school. Great. I hope you like the gift. Thank you. <laughs> Did you um, make this? You don't like it, do you? No. Um, it's just not really my style. I'm sorry. All right, ladies, here are the robes you brought so you can be comfy. Two of you can start with Manny's and the other two can start with hair, is that okay? Um, I guess. Perfect. These robes are so cute. Thanks for getting them for us. Of course, Etsy, it's literally the best. Oh, sorry, we didn't get one for you. Oh, it's okay, I brought one. <laughs> I know it's not as nice as yours. It was my mom's and I can tell. Anyways, do you guys want to take a boomerang? Definitely. Ask for some pieces or something. Um, uh, good idea. <laughs> um, actually, do you mind taking a boomerang for us? Uh, okay. Thanks, Penelope. Do you even know how to take a boomerang? <laughs> yeah, I'm on Instagram too. You guys can follow me, it's... Just let us know when to go. Ready, three, two, one. Here we go. <gasps> I love it, I'm posting. Can you send it to me? I wanna post it on my snap. Yeah, I'll airdrop it. Can I do a boomerang with you guys? Yeah, I don't mind. <laughs> Did I say something? All right, ladies, who's doing their nails first? Uh, Stacy and I. Amber can get her hair done with Penelope. Sorry, Amber. I don't mind. Okay, I'll take your nail polish, and the two of you can follow me. I can't believe she wanted to do a boomerang with us. <laughs> I know, she acts so desperate. There has to be a way we can get rid of her. 
All right, so before we go any further, I just wanted to confirm all of our services for today. So we're doing manis, petties, and hair coloring, right? Yeah, that's it. All right, so for four people, the total is going to be $727.45, not including tips. Wow, um, that's a lot. I know, it's a lot of services, especially for four people. You're sure you want to pay for everyone, right? Yeah, it's my party, and my mom, like, off. Wait, to... that's it. What do you mean? Can you give us, like, 30 seconds? Sure. Does Penelope know you're paying for everyone? I mean, I think so. I'm not really sure. Just tell her it isn't covered. I bet she can't pay for it anyway, so then she'll have to leave. Oh, you're right. I didn't think of that. You're a genius. Okay, we're ready. So, actually, I'm only taking care of three of us. Um, she isn't um, covered. But please don't tell her I'm taking care of anyone else's. I, I see. Okay. <laughs> I'm sad you guys don't have any rose gold, but pink will still. So, your total comes to $181.86 not including a tip. How do you want to pay? I thought that was all taken care of? I'm afraid not. Okay, I don't have any money with me. <laughs> Why didn't you bring any money? Well, you shouldn't just assume that it's all taken care of. You're right. I, uh... I'm sorry, honey, but you're gonna have to sit this one out if you don't have a way to pay. Is it okay if I call my dad? That's fine. We'll just have you sit in the waiting area in the meantime, okay? Looks like the blend worked. Good thinking. Do you think her dad will want to pay for her? Almost 200 bucks? No way. He's an assistant. They barely make any money anyway. Hey, Dad, I'm saying it's not paid for. I don't know. Can you pay for it? It's $200. That's okay. I don't need anything done. I'm having fun anyway. I'll see you in a couple of hours. I love how everything came out. <laughs> Me too. I know. Like, who are we? We're literally going to be the center of attention at school. Happy birthday. <gasps> Thank you. Okay, okay, okay. Before we do anything, we have to take pictures outside. <gasps> yes! Okay. We'll be right back. Oh, hi. Hey, girls. Hey, Rochelle. Hi. Hey. Oh, are you okay? Daddy, please go. I'm sorry, honey. I just told me everything was covered. I don't... I don't understand. I called her and I left her a message, but... Look, I'm sorry. That's fine. Hold on one second, okay? Hi. Yes? Excuse me. How much would it be for just the, the hair? Let me look it up. For the color she wants, it would be 120. Um, uh, honey, I'm so sorry. But when I get paid next week for your birthday, maybe we can do something special then, OK? Can we please just go now before they get back? Sure. Thank you. No worries. I'm sorry. No, it's okay. Here's our card. Great. Thank you. Hey, Nels. Honey, wait. Wait for me, please. Nels? You all right? They were so mean to me, Dad. Or so that I'm a gift. They laughed 
and mom's bathrobe. Me not having any money made it all worse. Why would it even take me? Honey, I didn't know you needed money. Rochelle's mom told me everything was covered. So Rochelle don't want me there, afraid. Penelope, I'm sure that's not true. Yes, it is. I was so excited to go to the party and get my hair and nails done. I never had that before. Listen. I know you're trying to help. I just want to be alone. Okay. <sighs> How was the library? Fine. I got some new books to read tonight. Well. Wow. Let's save the books until tomorrow, because I have a surprise for you. What is it? Come on, you'll see. Penelope in Dad's friend day? Aww. Come in. Sit. Do you like it? Dad, <laughs> this is amazing. But I don't know how to cut my hair or do my nails. Is someone coming? No, I'm gonna do it. But you don't know how. I do now, you see. After I saw how upset you were, I knew I had to do something. I don't know anything about girly stuff, so I decided to go see the nice receptionist from the salon. I told her I wanted to give you a glam party of your own. And she offered to help me get everything I needed. She even got a new shipment of rose gold dime. And when I went to pay her, she wouldn't take any money from me because she liked you so much. All last night and this morning, I stayed up watching YouTube videos so I could learn how to dye hair and paint nails at home. So you see, I had to practice on myself. <laughs> Hon, look, I know this isn't the salon level service that you wanted, but I promise I'll do my best, okay? Aww. Dad, this is the best thing that you ever done for me. I love you so much. I love you, too. I have one more thing for us. The final touch. Aww. <laughs> Thanks, Dad. Of course. OK, so should we start with the Mandy or the Pendy? <laughs> <laughs> you mean many Penny. That's it. All right, let's do your hand, OK? I hope you know what you're doing. <sighs> Me, too. Okay, here we go. You guys look amazing. Yeah, those colors are fire. Thanks. I wanted rose gold hair, but this works too. Is it true that your mom bought out a whole salon for your birthday? Mm-hmm. You know how I go? Go big or go home. Who wants to see the pics? What's going on over there? Let's find out. Wait, I thought you guys wanted to see the pics. It looks so good. I wonder who did. OMG. Your hair, it, it looks so good. Yeah, it does. But I'm just being honest. Thanks, it's rose gold. Penelope, you look amazing. Thanks, Kai. Did you get everything done at the same salon that Rochelle, Stacy, and Amber went to? No, someone else did it. Yeah, it looks so good. Whoever did it is a boss. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks. I'm actually doing a grand party if you all want to come. Yeah, um, am I invited? Yeah, uh-huh. You all are. <laughs> Thanks. Thank you. Thanks, Penelope. Wow, these bracelets are so cool. Thanks, I make them myself. Is your party at your house? Is the 
person who did your hair and nails going to be there? Yeah, he is. It's my dad. Seriously? Your dad did your hair? That's so cool. You hear some time if you want. <laughs> yeah, right. There's no way we're going to your party, right? Come on, let's go, Amber. I'd like to come, if that's OK. Yeah. Are you serious? Whatever. I'm so excited for your party, Penelope. I'm excited, too. And oh, I like the hair and nails. Thank you so much. Uh, by the way, would you like to get a boomerang? Yeah. It's Haley, the human trash can. Stop it. Oh, mm, are you gonna cry? Didn't your parents ever teach you to wash your clothes? Or take a shower? Or do they stink just like you? Hey, don't talk about my parents. I talk about whoever I wanna talk about. Please just leave me alone, Sam. Hey, what's going on here? She started it. No, I didn't. All right, that's enough. Both of you in my office right now. I'm calling your parents. I'm really sorry to keep all of you waiting. Of course. We're just having an issue getting hold of Haley's mom. Haley, do you have any idea of how to get a hold of her? Your dad? Hopefully there I'll get her some new clothes. Sam! Another word from you, young lady, and you are grounded for two months. Hi. Okay. Thank you. It seems that all the numbers we have are disconnected. Haley, do you have any idea of how to get a hold of your parents? We really need one of them here. You can't. What do you mean we can't? Why not? Well, you see? A few weeks ago, my mom and I got a phone call. It was about my dad. He was coming home from work when he got into a car accident. And he didn't make it. After my dad passed away, my mom and I had no one else. She couldn't afford to pay rent anymore on her own. So we got kicked out of our house. We had nowhere to go. So the only place we could go was on the streets. So you see, you can't get a hold of my parents because my dad isn't around. My mom is homeless and that's why I smell so bad. I don't have any clean clothes or even a shower. Oh my goodness. Um, Haley. <laughs> I'm so sorry. No child should have to go through that. Haley. Sorry. I shouldn't have said or done any of those things. I feel terrible. I'm sorry, Haley. I'm so sorry. It's, it's okay. You didn't know. Mom. Baby, maybe we can help them. We have extra rooms and clothes. Maybe they can move in with us. Now that is the Sam that I know. And I think that is a wonderful idea. <laughs> Sweetheart, can you take us to your mom? Sam. Haley's friend? Uh, 
Ty, Haley told us everything that happened, and we are so sorry for your loss. And we'd really love to help. We have a spare room, and we were hoping that the two of you would come and stay with us. Oh. No, that, that's too much. Oh no, please, we insist. At least until you get on your feet. See what Walter was wearing earlier? <laughs> you look like such a clown. Seriously. Yeah. <laughs> Speaking of clowns, yo, check out James. <laughs> I can't believe he's wearing an I Love Mom t-shirt. <laughs> what a loser. <laughs> All right, honey, you have a great day at school. I love you so much. <laughs> I love you more, Mom. Yeah. <laughs> I love you more, Mom. <laughs> Mom is like... <laughs> Who can solve for X? How about Cameron? Um, uh, uh, it's 12? No, Cameron, that's not right. Anyone else? James? Zero. That's correct. You're getting better at this. Thanks. My mom's been helping me study. <laughs> <laughs> What's so funny, Cameron? Uh, uh, no, 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 nothing. All right, class, don't forget to prepare for tomorrow's exam. Have a good day. Hey, James, we're going to study together at the library. Want to come? Oh, thanks, but I can't. I'm hanging out with my mom. No worries. Have fun. <laughs> All right, mama's boy, you're spending more time with your mom after school today. Aww. Aww. How cute. <laughs> yeah, I bet he still sits on his mom's lap. Yeah, no. <laughs> like, probably, yo, he probably still drinks milk from the bottle. Yeah. <laughs> you guys leave me alone? We would if you weren't so soft. <laughs> Wanting to hang out with my mom doesn't make me soft. It's like my dad always tells me, always spend time with your mom because one day you'll miss her when she's gone. <laughs> Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> you were softer than a marshmallow, man. <laughs> James! Let's go, honey. Hurry, don't want to keep your mom waiting. <laughs> <laughs> Unbelievable. Anyways, you boys still down to run some Roblox in my place tonight? <laughs> yeah, for sure. I'll be there. All right, fire. Later, boys. <laughs> Dad? What's, what's wrong? Your mom got some bad news today. What are you talking I'll about? I'll explain on the way to the hospital. We gotta go. Hospital? Mom! I'll give you all some time. I love you, sweetheart. I love you so much. I love you too. What exactly is the doctor saying? Dad wouldn't give me any details. Please, please tell me. Look, I want you to promise me that no matter what, you're gonna stay strong. I have colon cancer. Mm -mm. And the doctors are absolutely certain. The doctor said these tests are 98% accurate, but they're gonna do a second biopsy just to confirm. So when are you gonna get better? I'm not gonna get better.
have much time left. From that moment forward, all Cameron wanted to do was spend time with his mom. When his friends came over to play games, he sent them home because he wanted to be with his mom instead. And after school, when everyone would go out and hang with their friends, the only person Cameron wanted to hang out with was his mom. Once he realized his time with her was limited, he wanted to spend every single second he could with her. Little did he know he was about to get some news that would change his life forever. Okay, sweetheart, have a good day. All right, uh, we still on for ice cream after school? Okay, are you sure you don't wanna... Hold on. Hello? Melissa? Uh huh? I have some great news. Okay. The second biopsy results came in and it's negative. It turns out you don't have cancer. Are you serious? Yes. Look, this doesn't happen very often, so I wanted to let you know as soon as I found it. I can't believe this. I can't believe this. Come in tomorrow so we can talk, but otherwise go out and celebrate. Congratulations. Thank you, doctor. <laughs> Thank you so much. <laughs> yes! 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 <laughs> oh my gosh. This is the best news like, like ever. I prayed so hard for this. Me too. I have to tell your father. But, but honey, you should go. You're gonna be late, okay? Okay, okay. okay. Uh, see you after school. Okay, okay. But if you wanna go hang out with your friends, now that you know I'm- Are you kidding me? Look, Mom, there's no one in the world I'd rather hang out with than you. I love you so much. All right. Go ahead. I'm we'll, get some, we'll get some ice cream later to celebrate. Love you. Love you too. Bye. Yeah, Yo, what up, guys? Hello. <laughs> You're in a good mood. <laughs> well, let's just say I got some really good news. Hey, check out James. <laughs> Yo, he's so soft. Hey, mama's boy. Why don't you just hey, go? Hey, don't say that. That's not cool. Wait. What? Where is this coming from? Well, I realize that you should really spend time with your mom. Because you'll miss her when she's gone. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> Yo, bro, you got soft too? Yeah, what's next? And I love my mom t-shirt. <laughs> uh, actually, yeah. <laughs> you know what? Let's go, James. So you like ice cream? Uh, yeah. Uh, well, <laughs> me and my mom, we're gonna get some after school. Maybe you and your mom can join us. That sounds awesome. <laughs> awesome. <laughs> anyway, so 